There they go. And now, hitting away backstage, we have 15 semi-finalists. Like everybody else in the house, they don't know what's going to happen really next. They don't know which of the seven of those 15 are going to come back on stage quite shortly and get into that final seven. Eight girls are going to stay behind backstage and not appear again. And that's their fate, and this really is the nail-biting moment. Who's got in, who hasn't, that's what we're going to know later. They've already gone through two hurdles. So far, those judges have been marking for beauty, but no shortage of that, and deportment. Now they've got their final hurdle, what's known as the personality piece, the big chatter. And who else could do that but the uh, bilingual, multilateral, ambidextrous, Mike Aspel. Thank you very much. It's been said that beauty queens are like Venus de Milo, beautiful but not all there. Well, we'll find out about that. I asked one of the girls backstage what her ambition was, and she said, I'm looking simply for a man who is kind and understanding. Is that too much to ask of a millionaire? Well, <laughs> we'll find out now just what their interests are. I have the seven names here in no particular order, remember. That comes a little later on. First of all, I welcome the first of the seven finalists, contestant number 14, Miss Dominican Republic. Who is Clarissa Duarte? Yeah. Clarissa, could you stand on that yellow mark there? I nearly told in your bare feet then. You do speak English, don't you? Well, a little bit, very bad, but I speak. Thank goodness for that. One of the interesting things about you here, it says, is that you own a gymnasium. Is yeah. that true? It is your very own? It's my what? It belongs to you? Yeah. And what happens there? How many people do you have in the gymnasium? Oh, about 100 people. Good. They, every, every week. Every week? Yeah. And are you there all the time putting them through the exercises? Well, no, I have only part-time because I have to go to the university. And you what, are you, what are you studying? At architecture. The, the architect what is the architecture like in Santo Domingo, your home? Yeah, it's, it's a little hard, you know, for a woman. But I, but I try to do it. doesn't matter what, what the people sing or what the, the, the person sing. It doesn't matter what you sing. I wanted to be a good architect, and I will be. <laughs> and it'll look just like a gymnasium when you finish. finished. Yeah. Thank you very much, Miss Dominican Republic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we meet contestant number 25, Miss Israel. <laughs> Who is Haya Katzir? Katzir. Katzir. Would you like to stand? I'm sorry to keep moving you around, but it's for oh, the it cameras. You don't mind at all. No, I don't mind. It isn't what we are going to talk about, it's what we mustn't talk about. That's <laughs> the difficult thing. Um, tell us about Tel Aviv. Is it a beautiful place? Yes, it's a beautiful city, and I like to live in Tel Aviv, and I miss it very much. Have you worked on a kibbutz? Does everybody in Israel work on a kibbutz? No, no not everybody. Uh, who wishes to work in a kibbutz goes to a kibbutz. But uh, when I was at school, at high school, uh, we spent um, uh, about two weeks in a kibbutz. I worked there. I helped the people in the kibbutz. And I enjoy very much to be there. But what is your real ambition? My real ambition to travel all over the world, to see many places. Well, you'll probably do that anyway. But you um, are down here as an artist. Are you a practicing artist or a student? No, um, I'm a student and artist. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, I tell you what, what would you do with 3,000 pounds if you had it? You must have thought about it. Uh, I think well about I it all the time. Well, I get the 300, um, what do you say, pounds. You'll bounce it? No. Well, well, I'll get it, i think about it. Okay, we'll think about it in the next couple of minutes. All right, thank you very much, <laughs> Miss Israel. Well, I thought she would have known what to do with 3,000 pounds, right? We meet now contestant number 27, Miss Jamaica. <laughs> now, Miss Jamaica is Patsy Yuen. She's moving very slowly to the spot, and she's made it. 
Patsy, there's something very special about you, as there is about everybody. I believe that you are the old Jamaica tennis champion. I was, yes, for three years. Junior tennis champion? Junior, yes. What's the standard like there? Well, I, I don't think I would have ever made a world champion as such, but I was good in the island, but you must remember it's a small island. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> I've been to the North Coast. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Yes. What does somebody who lives in a beautiful place like Jamaica do for a holiday? Well, uh, like here now in London, it's a perfect holiday for me because it's, it's completely different to what I'm used to and it's also a very exciting city, you know, it's not at all very quiet like what I'm used to and um, I find that the English people are very, very warm-hearted and I've been having a wonderful time. Apart from that, you have nothing to tell me. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Jamaica. Thank you. Thank you. Well, these chats are getting a bit short, it seems to me. Let's meet the next contestant, number 39, Miss Philippines. <laughs> Miss Philippines is Evangeline Pasquale. The chat may be short, but Evangeline oh. isn't. What a... This is where my voice gets a bit muffled, as I say. You are from Bataan, yes. I believe John Wayne used to be there. Yes, yes, they made a film there. Not Back to Bataan, remember, if you know that film? A little before your time, I believe. I suppose. <laughs> I should hope so. Listen, I read that you speak Tagalog. Yes. What is that? That's the national language in the Philippines. Ignorant me. It's the Republic oh. now, of course. Can you let us hear a little Tagalog? What do you want me to say? Anything you like. Um, well, it probably would be. Listen, you have some extraordinary interests, karate and dart throwing, so you throw people and darts. Oh. Really, how much karate? How good are you at karate? Well, I'm not very good. I'm just... I, I think I just can manage to fight unwanted wolves. You can do what? Fight unwanted wolves. Unwanted wolves? Yeah. Surely you never come across that sort of thing. Oh, I hope. A girl as tall as you has no time. Uh. <laughs> With any luck. Thank you very much. We'll talk about that later, Miss Philippines. Thank, Thank you. you. And next, it's contestant number 44, Miss South Africa. Shelley Latham is Miss South Africa. Shelley, that sounds like a good old English name. Yes, it is an English name. Uh, way back it comes from France, Latam, which oh. um, from the Afrikaans in, in South Africa, I often get called Latam as well. Do you speak Afrikaans? Yes. How many languages altogether? Um, English, Afrikaans and German. You're a girl of many parts, as we can see. <laughs> it says here, you're a portrait painter, dancing, sports and music. Uh, what, are you, what is your ambition of all those interests? Well, I, the trouble with me is I like to do too many things. I can never make up my mind what I want to do, but when I've decided each time, I like to do it as best as I can. How do you fancy, or would you fancy, a year as Miss World? I imagine that's fairly hard work. I don't deny, I'd love it. Mm. But I know too it would be hard work, but I don't mind hard work. You could manage that. Now, you've been in London before, something to do with horses. Yes, um, I was here on vacation in 1968 and uh, I needed a month and a half to spend, to waste time before I went off on a trip. So um, a friend of mine put me up in Warwickshire mm. and I trained hunters for her. What a lovely time. I haven't time to ask any more about that, but it sounds a good life. Thank you very much, Shelley Latham. Thank you, David. She's not at all informer. She didn't call Mr. Aspel, she called me David. Oh, well. Uh, now we'll meet contestant number 51, who is Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Hello, Veronica Cross. We haven't really met on a contest before. Is Peacehaven as lovely as it sounds? Yes, beautiful. Lovely country, lovely sea. Very nice. You have very strong musical interests, don't you? Yes, I want to be a singer. And your mother is already a singer. Yes, yeah, she's at Covent Garden. She's so, I mean, singer. she's done a few months broadcasts, has she? Oh, many years, yes. Yeah. What kind of music do you want to, to sing? Uh, I want to sing more 
pop, but very melodic. I yeah. admire people like Carly Simon, that kind of thing. How did you enter this contest? Was it the first one, the Miss United um, Kingdom? No, Miss England was the first one. Yeah. And I went in for heat that the Variety Club had at their annual dinner and ball at the Grosvenor House in London. Tell us what it is like behind stage here. <laughs> We're very nervous. Nervous but friendly? Friendly, yes. Because I've, really? I've done a few of these and everyone seems extremely happy. What have you thought about what you might do with £3,000? Spend some, save some. How much would you spend? How much would you save? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to think about it. Yeah, you probably save about 10 quid and, and waste the rest. I understand. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Veronica you. Cross. Oh. Well, we've met six finalists, only one to go, and that is contestant number 52, Miss USA. Miss USA is Marjorie Wallace. Marjorie, welcome. And that sounds like, again, a good old English name, or British. Uh, Scottish, I think. Wallace? Yes. Yes. Have you, have you looked up the old folks? No, I haven't. I should, especially while I'm over here, so maybe I will next week or something. Will you be staying on for a while? For a while, yes. Anyway, yes. yes. Uh, Indianapolis, where you're from, I imagine, is a fairly lively place. Well, uh, during the month of May, yes. All during May, the 500 Festival brings thousands and thousands of people from all over the place. So, Are you keen on motor racing? I enjoy it. I go and watch. Yours is a vast country. How much of it have you seen? Um, well, I've been as far west as California, and I've gone down into Mexico and up to Canada and to New York and Maryland in the Was east. this as Miss USA? Um, not to Canada and Mexico, but the other places as Miss USA in the past two months. Yeah. Because, I mean, our girl has a few places to go to, right. but it isn't so very far. It's a large country, yours. Uh, what would you do with, uh, what, three, seven thousand dollars, I imagine it would be? Yes. Um, I haven't decided yet, you know. I don't have it, so, uh, I've never had seven thousand dollars to deal with before, so I just have to be put in that position first. All right, fingers crossed, because it'll be decided very shortly. Thank you very much, Marjorie Wallace. Thank you. Well, now the judges have their final look at the ladies, and as Groucho Marx once said, the man who says he can see through women is missing an awful lot. And uh, all those lovely smiles reminds me of the old Chinese proverb, the girl with the pretty teeth never fails to see the joke. I'm just saying these things to give the judges a chance to look without any interruptions. Someone was just defining beauty and charm, and he said, a beautiful girl is a girl that I notice, and a charming girl is a girl who notices me. I think I know what he means. Let me remind you of the prizes. I've mentioned it several times. It's £3,000 to the winner, £1,000 to the second place, and £500 to the third, and lots of other £100 prizes. I think the judges are ready, in fact. They've made up their minds. So, ladies, would you lead off? And it's first of all to lead off Miss Dominican Republic. <laughs> 